How's it going guys? My name is Joel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be trying Hard Seltzer Iced Tea Variety Packs. In front of me today, I have three different variety packs. The Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea Variety Pack, four different flavors. The White Claw Hard Seltzer Iced Tea Variety Pack, four different flavors. The Truly Hard Seltzer Real Brewed Iced Tea Mix Pack, four different flavors. Bud Light, White Claw, and Truly all have alcohol in them. 5% alcohol in each can in each of the three different variety packs. If you want to try any of these three different variety packs, or all of them, like I will be doing today, remember, drink responsibly. After I try all 12 flavors from all three of the variety packs, I'll be staying home because that's how I drink responsibly. As I look at the different boxes, starting with the Bud Light Seltzer variety pack, the cans are going to look a little bit gold. On the White Claw one, there's a little gold banner on the can, and on the Truly one, there's also gold cans. The gold is probably to represent the iced tea because that's what we're doing today. They look great and I'm really excited because I haven't had tea in a long time. And remember, one quick thing, before you open up your variety pack, shake it a little bit so that all the alcohol and all the juice and all the flavors are mixed together. No alcohol on the top, sugar on the bottom, or vice versa. You ready to go. Let's see what the cans look like. This is what the cans look like, and they do look just like they did on the box. The Bud Light Variety Pack. The cans are gold, and they have pictures of the fruits representing the flavor inside the can. The White Claw Variety Pack. Kept that same theme going. White background and a strip of color on the can representing the color of the fruit and the gold banner above that representing the iced tea. And the Truly Variety Pack. Picture of the fruit on top of the can. Cans are gold representing the iced tea inside the can. So I'm dying to know what exactly these flavors are. Starting off with the Bud Light Variety Pack. The flavors are peach, raspberry, tangerine, and apple. The White Claw Variety Pack. Peach, lemon, Raspberry and mango. The Truly Variety Pack. Strawberry, lemon, raspberry, and peach. Now, as I try each of these teas, I'm gonna open it up, listen to that pop, smell it, taste it, then give a review. Thumbs up, so-so, or thumbs down. If that flavor is just so good that it reminds me of something, I'm gonna let you know. Let's start off with the first flavor of the Bud Light Variety Pack, peach. That's a good pop. Ooh, that smells good. Peach is definitely coming out. I guess they're all gonna have this brown color. Peach definitely stands out. The tea tastes pretty good too. That's a plus. I really like that. Thumbs up for the peach. Next flavor, raspberry. That pop, oh man, Bud Light, you got good pops. Ooh, that smells so good. This reminds me of the Arizona raspberry tea. Pretty close. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Damn. 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 The raspberry gets a thumbs up. Next flavor, tangerine. Good pop again. Ooh, that tangerine. Oh my goodness. This smells like Pillsbury orange rolls, and I love those. I can't wait to try this. Oh my gosh. It's just so good, man. Damn. Bud Light knows what they're doing. Man, the tangerine definitely gets a thumbs up. I know this one's gonna be good. I ain't even had it yet, I know it's gonna be good. The next flavor, apple. Good pop again. So this right here reminds me of apple cider. And not like a hard cider either, just apple cider. Wow, this one has a bit of a bite to it and something close to a caramel apple. That one gets a thumbs up and the whole variety pack got a thumbs up. The rest better follow through. Now, the White Claw Variety Pack. First flavor, peach. That's a good pop. Ooh, that smells good. This peach right here reminds me of Lipton Peach Tea. That's a really good tea. So, it doesn't taste exactly like Lipton Peach Tea. The smell was pretty close though. I give this a rating. A thumbs up going down to it so slow. It's pretty good, but not all the way good. Anyways, next flavor. Lemon. Good pop. Okay, so the lemon flavor or the lemon scent aroma, whatever, is not really standing out. I'm kind of just smelling tea. I think it's just really, really faint. Not tasting lemon really at all. I don't think they picked a typical lemon. This lemon in here, it doesn't taste like real lemon. Those little yellow squeeze lemons you get that are actually in the produce section <laughs> of the grocery store and it's like super super bitter imagine that mixed with water and put in some tea that's what you got right here if they would have picked a different lemon i think it would have been really good my rating is a so-so going down the next flavor raspberry 
That's a good pop. Smells similar to the White Claw Raspberry that I had in another video. Check that out. I would really just say this is okay. I think I know what the issue is. It's either the flavor they picked or the quantity of flavor they put into the cans. I feel like there's not enough flavor in the drink. And I want more of that. This raspberry tea, I'm gonna give it a rating of a so-so going down. The next flavor, mango. Good pop. This one smells really good. This mango, you can tell, is the same type of mango flavoring that they use in the regular White Claw Hard Seltzer. However, when they combine it with the tea, it makes it almost stronger, which is a great thing because the last mango that I had was like, eh, it's okay. This tastes a whole lot better than the other three in this variety pack. I'm going to give the mango a thumbs up. Now, the truly variety pack. The first flavor, strawberry. That's a good pop. Mmm, okay. This reminds me of fruit stripe gum. I don't know if a lot of people know what that is. Some people call it zebra gum. That's what this smells like, and I like that. Oh, this is an interesting tea. Forget about the strawberry for a second. This tea is very full. Particularly in this first Truly one, I can definitely taste more alcohol in it, but the flavor is also amped up more than the White Claw one. So it's like a still a better balance, not with one lower than the other, but just they're both increased. It's a great thing. The strawberry in this one is not too sweet. I really do like this one. I give that one a thumbs up. The next flavor, lemon. Good pop. Now right there is some good lemon tea smell. Oh yeah. Smells like a fresh lemon. Cut a lemon on the cutting board. That is what you got in this can right here. Oh, that is so good. Oh, wow. I would not be surprised if I saw truly tea pack that had just the lemon one in it. Double thumbs up for the lemon one. Yes, double thumbs up. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Next flavor, raspberry. Good pop. Mmm, all of these, the smells that are coming out of this can is truly just right. <laughs> Tasty. This raspberry one is really good. I give the raspberry one a thumbs up. The last flavor. Peach. Good pop. Good pop. Okay, so this peach smells like the Lipton peach that I also brought up, but I hope that this peach tastes better than that peach. Hmm. This peach flavor is throwing me off a bit. It doesn't taste as sweet as you would expect peach to taste like in peach tea. I would give this peach flavor a thumbs up, kind of going down. So that was all three of the hard seltzer hard tea variety packs. And some of them had great ones, and some of them were okay. I definitely do have some favorites. If you watch my videos, you know what's coming next. I am now going to mix all three variety packs of flavors up in one cup. I'll start with the first flavor, peach. And peach. We've got peaches and raspberry from all three different variety packs. And again, we've got tangerine and apple, lemon and mango, and lemon and strawberry from the other variety packs. And this is what it looks like. Mmm, that smells good. <laughs> huh, okay. This tastes a bit strange. I think it's the raspberries and the peaches that are standing out the most, which would make sense because we've got three raspberries and three peaches in here. Taste. Okay, if I had to pick a favorite variety pack, it would be a tie between these two. But my very, very, very favorite one was this Truly Lemon right here. It's really good. If you did try any of the three different variety packs that I have here today, and agree or disagree with anything that I had to say, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget, if you did try any of these, remember, recycle your cans. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.